I'm taking this brake light out because I'm going to replace it for a unit with a camera. It makes it easier to reverse and see what's happening. So there's a little bolt inside, you'll need a 10 mil spanner to get that off. You want to keep the little bolts and the nuts that come off because that's going to be used for the other unit as well with the camera inside. I can see inside. There's two little bolts that need to come off. So now that just pops right out. And this little clip just comes right off. Already lost some blood there. Ta -da! Okay, so what you're left with is one little connection here on the outside. One connection on the inside. Hopefully when the unit arrives, I'll just have to connect it here. It'll run probably along the top, all along here. And then I'll make a little hole here somewhere. And so it goes through into the front cab and connects to a screen that I'll mount on the dashboard. So I've taken out all these plastic panels on the driver's side um, to see where I'm going to run the wire for the reversing camera. They came out really easily, just a few screws and some little pop knobs. And now I just need to decide where I'm going to drill a hole uh, through the bulkhead, if it's going to be at the bottom or at the top. So here is the unit that's going in with the camera included, exactly the same shape as the one before. Clean this off with a bit of solvent. There you go, just like it looks. So I thought that these were going to be used again, but it seems like this new unit actually doesn't require that. And I'm just gonna replace it with the 10 more uh, bolts. On the inside, we now have a few wires coming through. So this is as far as I've gotten. Um, I connected just yellow to yellow, and this is the 10 meter cable that will feed the screen um, up front. My camera is finally wired up. I had a friend actually help me with this um, because I just don't know enough about wiring and electrics. So basically what we did, monitor up here, and we just ran this cable down the side, squeezed it in here, opened all this up under the steering wheel. Basically, he wired into the 12 volt power, tapped into that, and we connected the video cable here. And yeah, the screen comes with another connection if you want to attach another camera somewhere. So maybe later down the line, I'll connect another camera to that. And then it's just grounded over here to the bodywork of the van. Then the cable, which leads to the camera at the back, runs along here. I've just led it along with all the other cables down here. I drilled a hole at the bottom over here, if you can see, through the bulkhead. Then the wire comes out here through the bulkhead. And I've just got a bit of conduit there because the edges are sharp. And it runs all the way up and along the top here up here you can see there's still loads of excess cable there's like 10 meters of this cable and up here and then it's connected to 12 volt power source there was a, a light up here before so he tapped into that i can have the camera on all the time not only when i'm reversing which is kind of cool if i want to see what's going on while i'm driving or if I'm sat in here, I can just turn the monitor on and I don't have to actually be reversing to see the screen. It's also got really good night vision actually. And yeah, I just need to find a good space for this, secure it, close everything up, and then that's that job done. So that's everything nicely closed up again, tidy. You can't even see the cable running there. And then that just needs fixing. Looking good. I just wanted to show you what it looks like at night. 
That's a pretty good image, even in the dark. I was super stoked with that.